We need to do something with all these baits. I mean, that's a whole lot of plastic that could just go to waste. What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another bee fishing episode and I got a good one for you today. Have you ever wondered what to do with all your used soft plastics? Me, myself, I go through a ton of soft plastics throughout the season. Various shapes, forms, sizes, colors. And on today's video, I want to show you what you can do to refurbish those soft plastics. Some of this stuff you're probably not going to have, but I'm going to show you where you can get them, how to use them, and uh, yeah, we can get into the video here shortly, but let me show you what I'm talking about. So here are all these bags of used soft plastics. I mean, look at that. So we've got our blacks, we've got browns and greens, we've got reds, various colors. I don't even know what that is. It's got some purple in it, some orange and gold, clear blues or June bugs, and uh, whites and silvers. So the whole purpose of this video is how I'm going to give these baits a second life. How I'm gonna take them in their used up form, their cut up form, or just been munched on by a fish, and uh, we're gonna warm them up, and we're gonna remelt them and make new baits out of them. Stay tuned, let's do it. <music> All right, for today's video, we're gonna focus on these brown and green colors of, I mean, it's gonna have various glitter colors in there, mainly brown and green, because that's the biggest bag that I've got, and I need to start getting rid of some of this. So we're gonna have various colors of glitter. I've got some with blue glitter. These are the Okeechobee colors, you know, where you got your pumpkin and then your blues. Um, I'm gonna have some gold glitter in there. You can't really get hung up on the glitter color. This is not precise, you're not gonna get a perfect color that you're looking for. Like if you're trying to get a watermelon red, like this guy, you're probably gonna wanna mix up a whole new batch of melted plastisol and make you some watermelon red. This is gonna be a hodgepodge. This is gonna give new life to this soft plastic that would seemingly just be thrown in the trash or in the bottom of your boat and eventually make it to the trash. So here is how we're gonna do it. So there is a pile of soft plastics. What we're gonna need is a Pyrex cup over here. There's some red right there. Gonna need a Pyrex cup. I've got my big Pyrex cup over here with some stirs. I'm gonna need a microwave right there. And I've got all of these molds. I've got some Cinco molds. I've got some Finesse Nightcrawler molds. I've got some swim bait molds. I've even got a new curly tail mold right there. That's a nice little mold. And then we've got a creature bait mold right here from creature baits. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this plaster, we're gonna heat it up in the microwave, we're gonna get it to about 300, to about 320, somewhere in that range, degrees. It's gonna melt down to a liquid, and we're going to shoot it into these molds and give them new life. So let's do that now. All right, so there's really no secret to this. Um, what I'm basically gonna do to make this a little bit easier, I'm gonna take some scissors, and I'm gonna take these, these uh, used plastics, like that one, you can definitely see uh, it's had a hook or two through it right there. Looks like a, uh, at one point it was a rage tail um, worm, but we're gonna take it, we're gonna cut it up into smaller pieces, like so, with our scissors. Just cutting it up into smaller pieces. Again, any old mix will do. We just don't wanna put whole baits in there, so again, we're just gonna take the scissors, chop them up into little pieces, and once I'm done with this, I will join y'all back at the old microwave. All right, so I have chopped up a good bit of soft plastic in there. I mean, it's pretty full. Now, when we warm it up, obviously, it's gonna settle back down, and that's what we're about to do right now. And you will notice, not a whole lot's different here. We still got a bunch of soft plastics, like uh, too, too much soft plastic. So what we're gonna do now is, I mean, we're gonna get this back in the bag, but we're gonna take this, we're gonna put it in the microwave, start at two minutes. Now this is something I've been talking about doing on the channel for quite some time now is if you've got used soft plastic, send them to me because my plan is, is to remelt these, put these in new molds and donate them to the local high school fishing team. So that's probably what we're starting today. I've been saving up all these soft plastics. A lot of you guys have donated to me um, to get this ball rolling for this and I think it's for a great cause. I mean, you're not using them anymore anyway and unless you're gonna do this process, which I'm teaching you how, 
Um, I mean, what's it going to hurt to pay a couple bucks to ship it to me and uh, have me donate to the local team? Do some good, you know? These molds that we are using, like this Cinco mold right here, um, can be picked up at your Everyday Bass Pro Shop, um, your Cabela's. Um, you can find them on at Tackle Warehouse. You can also just go to Do It Molds, which is some of the molds I'm using. I'm also using an Angling AI mold, um, as well as a Bass Tackle mold. So lots of molds that I'm using here, but again, you can pick them up anywhere. Um, Remelt your own soft plastics. All you need is a microwave, the molds, your used soft plastics, and you'll also need an injector so you can inject the mold. All right, so this is what we're looking at after about four minutes in the microwave, two minutes, stir, two minutes. Um, we do have some liquid starting to form. I don't know if y'all can see that. A lot of air bubbles and a lot of salt is what that looks like. Salt good, air bubbles bad. But we can work those out. The more you heat it up, the more those will come to the surface. So that's what we're gonna start doing here is uh, we're just gonna keep mixing this. A lot of glitter in here. Uh, keep stirring with your, your stirs. Uh, don't stir too much to introduce more air, just gentle stirs just to pull that stuff apart. Uh, all the chunks that are still unmelted and uh, stick it back in the microwave for, uh, at this point we're gonna do minutes at a time, so just one more minute. Once we get it out, we're gonna take our little infrared thermometer and we're gonna try to see if we can't make sure that this is getting to the temperature we need it to, which is Again, anywhere between 300 and about 350. We don't want to go over 350. All right, so it's been in there for about three minutes-ish of total microwave time. It seems that everything is melted. Let me give it a quick stir. Yeah, everything is melted. Uh, the bubbles, let me just bring y'all over here. The bubbles are still pretty heavy on top, but again, as long as we get them up, once we put the injector actually in the, uh, the plastisol, we'll be past the bubbles. So we don't have to worry about bubbles getting in all of our molds over here that we've got clamped shut. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them in the uh, Cinco molds. We've got some finesse night crawler molds, uh, a curl tail, and then a, uh, I believe this is the, yeah, this is the uh, creature bait. So we've got our three injectors. We're gonna do that now. Let's check the temperature first. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it is 320. So we're doing perfect on temperature. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna flip y'all down so y'all can see this. I'm gonna take the injector, suck up some of the plastisol and start injecting these molds. And then we'll have some new baits. Injector. We'll put the fella all the way in near the bottom and suck up. Whew, that's a whole lot of plastisol right there. Let's go. Cinco molds, done. All right, that was three injectors, and uh, now we wait and let it dry and see what see what we got. Look, that took almost all of our plastisol. That was a cup and a half of plastisol for one, two, basically three packs of baits there. All right, it's been literally like two minutes since I put these in there, so I'm just letting them harden up a little bit. So we're gonna scoot these out of the way. We're gonna check out one of each, and. Uh, We'll see what they look like. Let's start with these Cinco's. Should be our five inch Cinco. Let us see, let us see. It definitely looks like a five inch Cinco. And there you go, there's a five inch Cinco. Once was old and now is new and ready to go again. Ready to have another, another life, catch you some more fish. Let's take a look at these worms, these night crawler finesse worms.
Yes, indeed. There you go. Some Nightcrawler finesse worms. Again, once was old. These were old baits. These were old used baits that were never going to be used again, going to be thrown away. And we've been able to remelt them and turn them into something that we can use again on the water. And I really don't mind the color in it. I mean, I like the color. It's just a, basically looks like a pumpkin, but it's got all that glitter. I've got black glitter, red glitter, gold glitter, green glitter. I've got all kinds of glitters in there. Um, don't know what color you'd call that, but I'm going to call that reusable. Let's go ahead and crack open the rest of these. The rest of our stick baits. The other part of our finesse worms. These are our creature bugs. So let's see what we got. Right, let's crack these open. These turned out pretty well. So there you go, a little three and a half inch beaver style creature uh, bug right there. Uh, don't look too bad if I do say so myself. We're gonna give those a new life as well. Let's see what these curly tails look like. It's one of our newer molds that I've never actually shot before, so I'm kind of curious myself. Uh, let's see, not too bad. That's what those things look like. They're uh, definitely not six inches. Um, I would say that's a seven or eight inch, um, if I had to guess. So there you go. And if you were curious, there's where the worm starts right here. This part, there, up, there, up, there, up. That's all the sprue. You really should let this hang and cure for at least, I usually do it overnight to where it completely dries, uh, but for this purpose, that's how much plastic you're using just on this sprue. That's the sprue of this. So that can actually go back in there to be remelted. And then you've got your worms right there. So there you have it. That's going to do it for today's video. We made several really good looking baits. I like these creature bugs. I like the colors in those. I mean, it's kind of got like a bluegill color to it. The way it's got your blues, your black uh, flake, your gold flake. It's got a little bit of a bluegill color to it. Um, you've got all that also in your stick baits, as well as your finesse worms, and the, ver the very brand new to me, um, I believe it's an angling AI mold with a uh, curl tail on the end, which I love my curl tails. Now granted, we're getting out of summer, we're going into fall. Curl tails work all year round, but they really, really shine in the summertime. So yeah, that's it for today's video. We made some brand new baits out of some old baits that uh, you guys had sent in and or me and Chris had fished with on the channel and I thrown in the bottom of the boat. I save all of those soft plastics, sort them by color just so I can do this, remelt them, give them new life, go catch more fish with the same baits. So if you want to do something like this, I'm going to leave links in the description of where you can pick up all the materials to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, hit that like button. The like button is what makes these videos keep going uh, so other people can discover them as well as leave me a comment below. Do you like seeing the bait making videos? Because I haven't really done a whole lot of them on the channel. I think maybe there's three bait making videos, but if you wanna see more, leave it in the comments. I need to know that stuff. You guys drive the content on this channel. If you have any ideas for colors or different style of stuff that you wanna see in the bait making videos, if you like them, hit me up in the comments. And if you've done both of those things, you should go ahead and hit the red subscribe button, turn it gray, hit the ding dong notifications next to it. It's a little bell hit that button and it all it'll do is email you anytime I drop a new video. It's just a notification bell um, and YouTube will tell you, hey, Be fishing has got a new video, you should go check it out. And that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, we will catch you on the ne next one. Use plastic sign off, later guys. Whew. Now I've made a mess, this is a terrible idea.